what we've seen since late 2021 is uh, the, the bird flu, the H5 virus that sort of used to be a problem of other parts of the world has, has come to the Americas and over the ensuing couple of years has spread widely in bird populations. And somewhere either at the end of last year or early this year, that virus has somehow found its way into dairy cattle and you know, unfortunately has been spreading ever since. I think right now in the epidemiology of this infection in cows, we don't know where it's heading. Uh, it, it could burn through the population and burn itself out in a few weeks, in a few months, um, or it could be here to stay. Um, you know, I think it's, it's too early to tell which of those routes this is going to take, and we have no sort of historical data to base it on. What the, the COVID-19 pandemic taught us was you know, some of these newer techniques technologies can be used um, to rapidly prepare vaccines against emerging threats like the H5 virus. And so, you know, the, the particular um, work that we're involved in here with colleagues um, in, in Pennsylvania were actually to use that same technology that was used essentially to make a COVID vaccine, but instead of it expressing the SARS coronavirus antigens, it was expressing flu antigens. Right now, this particular virus much prefers to be a bird virus, or I guess in this case, even um, an, a cow udder virus as well. But you know, the, the risk to humans is low, but it's certainly not zero. And the more opportunity we give this virus to grow in different hosts to be subjected to different environments, you know, this is a virus, this is a flu virus. What do viruses do best? They change. So the more opportunities we give this virus to change, you know, then again, we do increase the risk to humans. But right now, you know, it, it is low. It's not a virus that's very infectious for humans at all. There is no perfect vaccine approach to any of it. They all have their drawbacks. They all have their pluses. And so, you know, of course, if we have attacked the problem with multiple solutions, then that's absolutely going to be the best position we can be in.